Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It would take the patience of a Hufflepuff to track down these pages. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the birdbath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall... You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, Stag. Rebellion! There it is. Just as Jack Paul described. Intramuros. eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. Incendio. Don't have time for this. I will go. 
Incendio. No risk of those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Doris led me. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Rebellio. I wonder how big this place is. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. I wonder if any of my spells will help me do this. Rebellion. Accio. Incendio. I'm not going to touch those. Look. Incendio. Rebellion. Rebellion. If I could summon that platform to me, I could likely get on it. Incendio. 
clutched chest. Tarantula wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Accio! That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Accio! Levioso! Accio! Revelio. symbol is hidden somewhere. Revelio. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. Accio. 
incendiary. Expelliarmus. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. What a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. Incendio. Accio. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of it. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this.
That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Revelio. Accio. Rebellion. It's almost complete. More spiders. These can't be your bad little jack. Expelliarmus. Grenade. Accio. Incendio. Leviosa. Expelliarmus. Accio. Incendio. Imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be?
must be getting closer to Jack Doyle's remains and those pages. Revelio. There's Jack Doyle looking dead as ever. What happened here? Might it happen again? Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Rebellion. Where am I? Oh no, the room's starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of it. What is this place? Rebellion! Can it be? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. 
I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention, and might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Rebellion. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? Rebellion. How nice to see you, my young friend. myself with till he returns with the book. Revelio. Akio. You need to learn to pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. 
Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Rebellion! Get away from me! Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. Rebellion.
Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Let me know if you need help finding anything. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. I expect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up!
One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. Ah. The brooms are I think I'm getting property. the hang of this. I want them returned in one piece. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! <laughs> this is rather fun! Ah, oh, the old boathouse! Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Whoa! Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Ha! Good. I've got this. Hey, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Hufflepuff like you might be interested in some high-flying fun? Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. 
Now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good fly. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom, then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. <laughs>